now we see the nested function okay nested function means see we have defined we have uh, defined the user defined function in the matlab and you have written the script where you have you have seen that you have the single function in the script and you have to save the script by the name of the function this we have done now what we can say within the parent function means within the function you can also define other function the function completely inside of the parent function so if you have some function like you have some function you have the function x y z okay and you have some function okay. if you have some function x y z so within this function actually you can define other function function any x y z z like this and you have to function and so within the function and the end of this function is like this so this is the parent function this is the top level function this is the parent function and within the parent function inside the parent function you have defined the other function completely inside that's why this is the nested so and nested meaning that within one parent function you are going to define the other function and this is in this way actually you are going to and how you are going to execute you are going to execute by the top level function this is the by the name x y z once you have the x y z then you are also executing this function so within the same function actually within one function you can have also the multiple function you can nest so within one parent function you can possibly you can define any number of functions and that will be the you can nest means within the function itself like this is the script actually for generally to learn that how nested function work so i have just given the name as nest nest nested function nested nested fun function means we are going to learn the nested function now see within the this function what we are going to do this is one statement disp display and see this is the new statement for you so if you want to display some message in the output so this is used okay the input input is used for the for taking the input and for displaying the message you are going to use the display command disp and then you have the string this is the string. so once you execute this whatever you want to display in output this will be displayed so display this is a parent function so the function nested fun this is the parent function here okay so now see what we have done here function nested this is the name of the function and see that we don't have any argument that's why argument list is empty so you can also write the parent parenthesis like this but you don't require if argument list is empty you just you can also make Uh, if you wish, you can write like this also. There is no issue. So within the this parent function, I have given the message. This is a parent function. This is the and r r is equal to ten. This is the variable of the function. Now see that I I am going to define another function which is the circle function. I have given the name circle function. And this is the call of the function. The, I am calling the circle function. But circle function I have not. Defined earlier, I am defining the circle function within this within this function. So I am nesting this function. So this is for defining this circle function. You have to use again the same function definitions. Function circle function. You are not taking any argument, and you are just computing the uh, value of the theta from zero to two pi in hundred points. You are going to compute, and you are going to compute actually the you are going to plot the circle of radius r right and r is 10 here actually so r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and you are going to plot x y everything is rest is same actually and title is circle okay and this see that we have in the we have learned that whenever you have the single function in the script 
you don't require and and is optional but if you have the multiple function if you have the nested function then you must use the and so once you have the end this is this is the end for this function and then you have this is the end for the parent function so you have the two end so see that within the parent function within the this is the parent function you have function from this to this you have another function and you this is the way you are going to say that this is the function nesting so you are nested to the function now <clears throat> See that what is the important of this here once you execute the circle fun so you are not going to supply any argument to this circle fun and here you are computing the value this if this is okay but you need here r value r is equal to cos theta so x is equal to r cos theta sorry so you need r value and within the you are not passing any value to this function and you have not defined you have not given you are you have not assigned any value to the r so how it is going to compute so you need to learn that since this function is this function is within the parent function so whatever variables you have defined in the parent function you are also able to the scope of such variables are also within this function so you don't require to again you that's why you don't require to pass the ten automatically since you have defined in the parent function you have assigned the value for the r in the parent function and from the parent function it is going to take the value so scope if you have defined the variable here then the scope of this variable is everywhere in within the nested function so that's why this is the important so you are not supposed to uh, pass any value and this is the nested function so how you can execute the nested function so you just you have to first save the by the name of the top level function the top level function is nested fun this is the top level function and this is within the inside you are not good you cannot access from the command window circle fun you cannot access you can access this within the with the help of the nested fun only so <clears throat> how can you execute so you have to go for the command window and in command window just like in other cases you have to write the any st nest nested then you have to say nested fun okay nested fun so once you say nested fun since you are not going to give any input and first if you have done any modification you can save it okay. so so this say how you are going to compute and this is the output you are getting so this is since our value of r is 10 so you are good you are having the radius 10 this is the plot and now here display this is a parent function so you see that this is the message this is a parent function this is the this is a parent function then r is equal to 10 you have not put the semicolon here so r is equal to 10 is output so this is a parent function and r is equal to 10 this is from the parent function and you are executing this function within the parent function and for the radius 10 you are you have the plot so this is the nested function okay and if if you do like this if you if you say if you make it comment like this okay so maybe Say for example, if you can make the comments, you are not calling the function. Then what happens? First, you clear the. Then you can run, and you are getting this. So see. Here actually. Actually, <clears throat> why it is you are getting? Even even this is this is the comment. Why you are getting the output? It is because you have not saved, and so you have done the modification and you have to save it. So first you need to save it. Now you have to save. Once you have saved this, then this version is saved, and this you have put in the comments. Now you execute. 
nested fund now see you are not getting the plot why you are not getting the plot because you are not executing this function actually even this is within the body of the fun parent function you are not able to execute until you are going to call it so that's why you need to call it here you need to call it and whenever you are going to call it you have the output this is okay so what you have learned that for executing the nested function you have to call in the parent okay so you have called in the parent and within the function also you can also define the nested function and you can call so this is the nested function when you are when you are defining the function completely inside the other another function this is the nested function actually now there is a slight difference between the nested function and sub function see the situation if you do like this function if you if you terminate the function from here to here and this you can say end okay and at the last you have to delete this just what you have done this function nested function display this is a parent function r is equal to 10 and you are going to say circle fun you are calling from the main and this is the this function is ends and now you are going to define the circle fun function circle fun uh, everything rest of the things are same and this is the this is the end of this function now see these two are the separated this is not the estate this circle fun is defined totally outside of the parent function so this is the sub function actually and how you can also you can execute this function with the help of the only top level function this is the top level function but this is not the nested function this is the sub function now see if you run this function then what happen you will get the error first you need to save it and see you are going to execute you are going to get the error why it is so say the you are getting the error because this is the function which is the parent function you have terminated here and then after termination of this you are going to define another function the question is that you are calling even you are calling from the main this parent function but here how you will get the you are not passing the value of r and how would you get the value for the r because the scope of this variable r is within the main function only and this main function is going to terminate from here to here you are not passing the value for the r to the circle fun and hence the scope of this variable r is from only within the main function so here you are not getting the value for the r so if you are not getting the value for the r then you cannot construct the plot circle so that's why this is the important in the sum when you when you go for the sub function then you have to pass the argument list so you have to uh, once you pass the value for the r then you can do like this if r is equal to 10 instead of uh, r is equal to 10 if you can say or from here you can keep the arguments and like this you are going to pass the r you have the r and then you can also you are calling sorry so you are calling with the from the main now see the situation what happened so in the main function you have defined the value of r r is assigned 10 and you are calling the circle fun and now you have defined one argument circle fun and you are passing this value and once you are passing this value then here you will have the value for the r and once you execute this then you will have the answer so now you have the answer now <clears throat> the circle is going to execute so this is the way okay so now you might have 
clear the difference between the nested function and sub function so this is the sub <coughs> sub function whenever you have the sub function you need to pass the value okay and whenever you have the nested function then you don't require to pass the value because the scope of the parent function is always within the functions hello sir yes sir uh, sub function should be uh, saved in the same main function yes you no, have the, you have saved the function this sub function by the name nested function you just have nested function yeah there is this nested you any number of function you can define here there is no problem any sub any number of sub function you can define but the whole script will be saved on the name of the nested function top level function and you are you cannot execute directly from the command window nested function you just use the top level function just like in other cases so from the uh, from the command prompt if you if you type like the circle fun circle f u n fun and you can supply the value for say for example 10 here this is okay so you cannot access the sub function from the command window you can access with the help of the top level function whatever function in the top like nested fun so from this you can access this function so this is the advantage actually this is the advantage of matlab that within one function name you can define many function and this is the sum function and whenever you want to pass the value every value then you can go for the nested functions hello clear uh, sir uh, excuse me sir ha huh? sir can we call a function that is written in a different file into our function yes just like the you, you can call sqrt university computing university you can call okay no issue this is the just a script any if you have defined the function then you can call there is no issue just like you say na sqrt displays also a function and you are calling this yes sir you know, the built in function you can call the okay. okay now you see the situation now you can understand well here what is this is the example of the nested function here so what you have nested function and this is the output variable dream time and inception time inception and argument is time and this is just an example we don't worry about the inception and dream time this is the name of the some output variable and inception just actually for the demo purpose uh, you can say that it calculates the amount of dream time occurred during a given number of real time given amount of real time so whatever is the time how you are going to define this is important so this is the documentation you can do for your purpose whatever you are going to define the this is the parent this is the top level function and this is the parent function okay inception is the parent function what you are going to do and you are taking the value argument is time so and you know that this is the output variable so output variable must be must be assign some expression so dream time is equal to time multiplied by 12 so whatever be the input here you are going to multiply with 12 so if say input is 10 then you are going to multiply with 12 so 120 dream time now becomes 120 now this is you are going to define some other function here deeper this is the name deeper and you are going to define deeper like this so you are calling and you are going to define the function deeper and deeper how you are going to define you are just writing this statement only in dream time you are going to dream time is equal to dream time multiply by 12 then again you are calling the deeper and you are going to define the function deeper again and dream time is equal to dream time again you have only one statement then again you are calling the deeper and you have the definition of the deeper here dream time is equal to dream time multiply by 12 and this is the end of this function this is the end of this function this is the end of this function and this is the end of the this function means within the parent function every function is inside 
So this is the example of nested function. Now see, since this is the nested function from here to here, so dream time, even you are not passing the value for the dream time here, since the scope of the, this function, parent function will be here, from here to here. So automatically you are getting the dream time value from here. And this is within this, so automatically you are getting the value. Mean the same variable you are going to modify. So what would be the answer for this case? <laughs> you may seem, it may seem, simply look stranger that you have deeper, 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 and same function you are going to define again and again. You can give the different function, like here deeper, you may, okay, you're defining deeper, you can call other function like deeper one, you can have the different code here, and any, you can have different function. But the same function you are going to define. First, uh, you should get the output since, and, and should, you should not confuse that. Whenever you have the deeper here, and you have defined first time deeper, okay, here's the first time. Now again, you are calling the deeper and you are going to define. So you may think that, okay, why you are going to define again and again this function deeper? You just call. You can do it, but in this way, you are going, you are going for the uh, different execution. It will be the recursion actually. So here you have the function deeper then you are having this and you, if you have not going to define then actually it is called itself this is this become the recursion kind of things so for preventing that you are going to use deeper in only fixed time fixed number of times so like this is one time you are going to use here and here you are going to again you are going to define and one time you are going to use here okay so this is little bit confusion but you think like this so what should be the answer for this case? Say if input is 10, if your input is 10, your input is 10 here. Then here you are getting what? Time multiplied by 12. This means you have the 120. Now dream time is equal to 120. Okay. Now you are calling the function deeper. You have defined the deeper now like this. Now deeper, once you go here, dream, dream time is 120 and 120 multiplied by 12. How much? 144. This much, I think. Are you getting? Now once you go again, next line, this is deeper again you are calling and you are going to define deeper like this dream time and dream time is 1440 multiplied by 12 what is the amount 17280 right now again you are calling deeper and you have defined the deeper like this and now dream time will comes like this and you are going to multiply with 12 so what is the answer here this is the output okay <clears throat> let us see implement so here answer is 207360. Now, see, I have uh, again cut and paste here inception, and I saved the function by the name of the inception because you know that in the top level, in the top level, you have the this is the function inception, this is the same. And I have not written the commands here, just we have typed the commands. So function dream time is equal to inception time and dream you are going to define like this dream time is equal to time multiplied by 12 and then you are calling deeper and deeper is defined like this dream time multiplied by 12. So okay so 120 then multiply by 12 you are going to get the 144 and then 0 and then again you are calling the deeper so how many times? just you are uh, here you have the 120 here then here you have 144 and 0 then 1440 multiply by 12 then multiply by 12 same number so how many times one two three three nested function 
now see if you are going to execute so how you, we have saved the function by the name of the inception.m because this is the top level function and and the functions within this are nested so you have the nested so this is the end for the top level function sorry this is the end for the top level function dream inception type so now for execution of this you need to type the function name c e p t inception that's all i am spelling you can check the spelling inception and it is not going to take okay yes it is taking the argument here time and let us say i am going to give 10 and now you execute are you getting the answer same 207360 so see this is the execution of this function okay so answer is 207 how it comes you can see again first time you are giving 10 10 is multiplied by 12 120 then you have defined the deeper you are calling the deeper here and you are executing once you call deeper you this is the statement in this case and you are multiplying with 12 whatever is the answer again you are calling the deeper and within the deeper you have this statement so you are multiplying with 10 1240 so multiply by 10 you are getting something then again you are calling deeper and the dream time you are modifying always dream time and multiply by 12 and finally you are going to get the to 207360 this is Okay. Now, <clears throat> and see, you have you have done like this. So you can say function inception type dream time is called this deeper, and you have defined the deeper here, and you have you are calling going to call deeper, and you can put it in the comments. Say for example, you are going to put comments here. you can make it comments okay. now this will be the comments here you are going to make the comments here. so how many functions you have now only function this is the main this is the for this and this is for the main okay so you have <clears throat> within the function dream this is the inception time this is deeper you are calling deeper you are defining the deeper only one time dream time is equal to dream time multiplied by 12 and you are calling the deeper and okay now see what happened and now this is the end within the deeper you have the two statement this and this and now you can save it so you are going to this and you are getting the out like this so what is the error here you can see the error <clears throat> maximum recursion limit of 500 reached use set zero recursion limit n to change the limit be aware that exceeding your available stack space can crash the matlab or your computer and this is the error so maximum recursion limit of 500 so you are what you are going to do so here once you have defined the deeper this this is just become just like the recursion and again recursion so how how you are going to execute see you are coming from here inception time you are giving the instance inception time argument is 10 for example you are here you are getting the answer for dream time then you are calling the deeper and deeper is defined like this so once you have the deeper dream time is called to dream time trap again deeper so once you are calling deeper you have the same stream deep time dream time is called to dream time multiply by 12 and deeper so this is the recursion you are calling again and again the same function you are calling the again and again and 500 is the limit so 500 time execution done and then it says that okay it is the stack overflow so that's why for you have you have written again and again the same function for getting rid from the recursion actually and you want to just execute the same number of times you are going to define so here you can say this function 
and this is the game time and again you can say this so actually this is the right so this means every time we need to call a recursive function in matlab we need to take care of the stack space or yes. we can use a nested yes. function otherwise you can practice at home and you can control how many times you want to execute you may use some control control statement Yes, we can break the loop in between. Yes. Ah, yes. Some condition meet and you can break. Okay. So, sorry. Now you are getting the answer. This, this is the <coughs> nested function and completely in within the parent function. That's why this is the nested function. Now see, this is other example. You have now, and we have taken the different uh, function name actually. And see again, you have the function, you have the function here, function, and you have the two output variable, average and median. You are going to compute average and median, and this is the name of the function at top level. Calc, calculate, calc means calculate states. You can give any any name, and in this is the vector actually. You are going to compute the, you are supplying the list. Okay, this is the list you are going to supply, and you want to compute the uh, average value, and you are going to compute the median, like you are going to do the some statistics. So, so you may have two, one, three, zero, like seven, any you can. So, n can be equal to like this. N can be this. What you are going to do within the main function, parent function. Here parse input in. Actually, parse input in parse input. This is not the built-in function. Actually, you can use for your parse input means you can simply you can see the you can <coughs> see the list or what. But this is not necessary here. This statement is not necessary. It will not affect your output. And you can define the function parse for some purpose of your list. Means you you may want to see the whether the list you can display the list pass list you can display the list to see that whether it has the duplicate value or not whatever but this pass input is not required in this case you have to pass input is not a built-in function now what you are going to do here n is equal to length this is the built-in function length is the built-in function and what is the use of this built-in function length and whatever be the length of this vector it is going to give the output like one two three four five the length is five you have the five element that's why the output of this is five so n will be equal to five so simply length will give the output of the size of the longest dimension so here one row and how many columns you have the five columns so the longest dimension is five so it gives the output five so you have the five Okay, so this is length is also one new function for you. You can remember. Now average, you are going to compute the average. Now you are calling calling the function. This is the call of the function. You are calling the function, and you have to call the function calculate average. And since you have this is not the built-in function, you need to define. So here you have defined the calculate average. Okay, okay. Now you are calling the calculate median. This is also, and you are computing the calculate median by giving the value of value n. N is the length of your vector. Now see, since you are going to define here, you have not defined earlier. So you are how you can define by the name of the function definition function. Then output of this is what. So it is this function gives some output. That's why you are going to assign in here. So say that you can name the same variable. There is no issue. A A B G average is equal to calculate average n. So how you are going to compute n? And this is again you have the built-in function of the MATLAB sum n. It will make the summation of the list values. So two plus one plus three plus zero plus seven like this. And whatever be the answer, you are going to divide by the n. And n is the number of elements. And you are going to get the average. And this is the expression actually you want to compute. So once you execute this, you will have the average value. The average will have the answer. Now you may you may ask that 
in this is the list from where you are getting the list since this function is within the parent function and in the parent function you have the input you have the input in and that's why this list is also used in within this because the scope of this is also everywhere within the uh, body so from here to here this is the body of the parent function so you don't require to pass the in automatically it is getting from the argument you are passing you are calling and you have the in value and from the in you are getting the value here now again for the calculate median and this is the if you know the procedure for computing the median how we are going to compute the median again you have the number of elements you need and in is equal to sort sort in so in is the list so like this in is the list and again you are saying the in is equal to sort in so this is used for sorting purpose so after execution of this you will have the sorted list so you will have this 0 1 2 3 and 7 this is the sorted list so you will get the sorted list okay since you are going to compute the median and you need sorted list here so by using this built in function sort you are getting the sorted list and in now have the sorted you are modified the in now int is you have the same elements but it is in the sorted order and increasing order you are going to sort now see what you need to compute now you want to see that whether the number of element you have means number of element is is odd or even if you have the odd then you know that this is the median and if it is even then the average of the two mid values the so same you are going to do so if rem rem is the built in function which is going to compute the remainder so this is like r x and comma y you are going to divide x by y and whatever remainder you are getting so here you are going to divide x by y and x is what in actually in here wrongly written instead of in you should have the and capital n because you have the num you know the list size this is the n and you are going to define n by 2 and if you, do, you define n by 2 so if you have rem, rem n and after 2 then whatever be the remainder if remainder is 1 if remainder is 1 and if this is equal to 1 means remainder is 1 then it means that you have the odd number of elements and if odd number of elements is there then the median is how you are going to compute the mid value this is the mid value so how you can compute the mid value or just you can do like this like here 1 2 3 4 5 5 plus 1 6 6 divided by 3 sorry 2 you are getting the 3 the third this is the median so the same you are going to do n plus 1 divided by 2 and you are getting the median and in is the you know that this is the vector and this is and how you are going to access which which element you are going to access the middle element so here in is the vector and you are going to access one two three third one so this is the third one like this so in third is the two is the answer so you are going to compute the median if this is true if remainder is one then one otherwise it is even if it is even then you have to find the two n by two even and n by two plus one the middle two values once you find the average of the middle two values then this is the median and now this is the end of this if and this is the end of this function and you have this is the end of this function and this is the end of parent function so now within the parent function you have defined the other functions and nested so once you execute this function and you can type it home and you can execute you will get the answer by giving some list so this is the way so this is all about the nested function